Hello and welcome, PML fans. I am your host, Joe Zamora here, and we're here on Zamora Gaming, recording our week three battle for the PML draft, and we are your New England Chartreuse. Sorry. This week, we have an opponent known as Izzy. So, she is a YouTuber. She's not on the Facebook page, but she does have a pretty cool uh, page going on her YouTube channel. And this week, we are facing her team, which is this one. And she's the Midnight Mimic use. And this should be a very good battle. Um, I've done a lot of prep, me and Stuart. Sorry for the ring in the background. But, um, she's brought everything I kind of expected. I was hoping she wouldn't bring Excel Gore and Tentacruel, but she did. So, she's for sure going to try to keep rocks off the field. So, we will see how this goes. Okay, let me see. I was going to lead War Machine. But, I'm going to go ahead and lead Goddard here. Uh, getting rocks up is very important for our team. But, uh, you know, we'll do what we can here. So we're going to assume uh, an Excel. We're going to assume a Tentacruel lead. And if he, uh, she leads right on, then I will switch out to probably, probably Charizard. Because she'll obviously go for the stealth rocks. If she goes Tentacruel, I'll Volt Switch out. And I'm not sure who I'll go to there. Probably a Blastoise. And if she leads Exelgore, I'm going to protect to see what it would do. Okay, so she does send out the Tentacruel. <clears throat> Okay, so do I assume she reads the play here and just goes straight to straight to right right on? I do. I'm gonna go ahead and just switch out to Undertaker here. And assume uh right on's coming in. <clears throat> Okay, so Tentacore actually went for Mirror Coat. Hmm. Not what I expected. But that's fine. Let's go ahead and go for an Air Slash here. No, we don't want to get that Mirror Coat on us. Man, I forgot to put two moves on Undertaker and Leonard that were really going to help me in this battle. That might hurt us. Um... Let's just go ahead and go out to... It's fine. Let's just stay in with Charizard and just go for an Air Slash here. Let's hope we get a flinch. Okay, so no flinch, but it goes for Scold. <clears throat> so it's obviously going to go for Scold again, so we're going to switch out to something that can take it. Let's go ahead and go to Leonardo. Ah, we've already messed up big time. I think Volt Switch would have taken it out, too. Okay, so she's just going to spam Scald now. And we take that pretty well. Honestly, I think Volt Switch would have knocked it out. Okay, we have nothing that's super effective, so we're just going to go ahead and go for a Scald here, see what she switches out to. No, she stays in and goes for Giga Drain. Okay. So this Tentacruel is already being a bane to my existence. Let's see here. But it is burned. Let's see. So Giga Drain didn't do much to us. 
So we're just gonna keep burn. Uh, we're just gonna go for more scalds here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so she goes for spikes here. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm trying to figure out something here. Yeah, so far we're not looking good here. Let's see. We're not getting no offensive pressure off right now. Let's just go ahead and go for another scold. Hopefully she switches into something here. Beautiful. All right, so if we get the berm on the Mimikyu, that'd be great. It will break the disguise. Let's get the burn. Okay, um, Leonardo can still be useful, and I think Lyperd's probably the least useful Pokemon on our team. So I'm going to go ahead and go for Lyperd here. I think she was assuming I was going to go for Rapid Spin. We didn't get the burn, which sucks. Oh, but she withdraws Mimikyu. Go straight back out to Tentacruel. All right, so there's that. We're gonna get poison on our T, so our focus sash is pretty much wasted. So she did expect a free switch in. Sorry for the burp, guys. I know that's gross. Okay, Tentacruel is about where I need it to be. But I'm gonna go ahead and sucker punch it just to get some more damage to ensure the KO. Oh man, went for toxic spikes again. <clears throat> interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, but well, that's the most um, spikes she can get down. Obviously, she doesn't care. Let's just go for a sucker punch again. I mean, that's all we can do right here. Ooh, and does a really good chunk to Tentacruel. Got a crit. But I think it would have been a two-hit KO either way. I don't know. That Giga Drain does a lot of damage. Um, Lyperd was brought to uh, counter the Mimikyu. But since Mimikyu is disguised is gone, that really helps us out. And we should be able to um, overcome that obstacle there. Let's just go ahead and go for another sucker punch. Okay. So I think she's going to try to uh, keep going for the the thing that obviously avoids her getting hit. So I'm going to go for the U-turn here. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us. Oh man, my game plans kind of just went out the window, so I'm not sure exactly what I'm trying to do here. So get some decent damage off. And let's just go ahead and go out to Undertaker. I mean, if it goes for Skull, it knocks us out, but if it goes for Giga Drain, uh, we four times uh, resist it, we could knock it out with the next turn okay goes for toxic spikes right now we avoid toxic spikes so that's great and let's just go ahead and go for an air slash because it's pretty neutral to the rest of his team 
And I think she'll finally let Tentacruel go down here. Okay, so she chooses to save it and goes to Slowbro. We get off the Air Slash here. And does beautiful amount of damage. I think one more Air Slash will knock it out. Oh, yeah. So let's go for Air Slash again. Maybe she switches out, but I doubt it. I mean, she can go Rhyperior. Because nothing else really wants to take an air slash other than Rhyperior. We are choice specs, so it's doing mighty damage. So even though our game plans kind of went to shit, we are in a pretty good position right here. We can potentially knock out the slow bro. Um, we're going to get some chip damage off right on. Sorry, not Rhyperior. We have Rhyperior. Okay. Mimikyu's low health. I mean, not low health, but the sky's broken. Tentacruel's low health. So, we're in a prime position to just Dynamax here and knock this thing out. The only way she'll live this is if she Dynamaxes as well. And I don't think she'll waste her Dynamax here. So, here we go. Undertaker is going to Dynamax and hopefully take this thing out. From the calcs I did, it should take it out no matter what, even from full. So, we'll see how this goes. Solid Rock shouldn't be an issue. Evil Light either. Max HP, max special defense, it should be knocked out. Okay, so she chooses not to Dynamax here. And right on goes down. <sighs> okay, so we get first blood here. And again, the main reason why I've been pretty nervous about this is because this is not how I thought it, it was going to go. <coughs> okay, so she does have a Braviary. If it's Scarfed, it outspeeds. But if it's not, it doesn't. So let's just go ahead and go for the Max Flare. Pretty much all we can do here. Alright, so we get a good hit off on the Braviary. Uh, I don't believe it knocked it out. I didn't see the HP bar. Okay, so it didn't. It's fine. But now that Rhyperior is no longer in, we are free to go to Jolteon and Volt Switch on everything. Well, you know, we can also go to Lone Wolf here now that a bunch of her, po her Pokemon are weak. Do I pull the trigger now? No, I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to go Goddard here. Okay, so our Quick Feet is automatically activated. And we can Volt Switch. I brought Electro Ball instead of Thunderbolt. Because Electro Ball knocks out Slowpoke. I mean, Slow Bro from full. Due to the speed difference. So that was pretty cool tech on that part. But very surprised she did not bring a... Uh, what do you call it? Very surprised she didn't bring a Choice Scarf Braviary. Because that could have helped her out a lot right there. Saved a lot of damage on a Braviary. So technically we're both down a Pokemon. Uh, obviously she has... Uh, more initiative with the spikes on the field but Braviary one of her main threats goes down now really her last main threat that I can think of is Mimikyu and we're gonna go Lone Wolf here no let's go Tease here if she goes Mimikyu um, we have a pretty cool game plan alright so uh, Tease's HP was restored which probably saved us right there. Now let's see if she brings in Mimikyu. Oh, 
Okay, she brings in slow, bro. Very interesting. I'm gonna go for a U-turn here. Clearly he's going for a water move because uh, Psychic doesn't work. So let's go ahead and go back into Goddard here. We should be able to take anything it has on the waterfront. Okay, that's cool too. So she goes ahead and slacks off, gets it back to full health. She probably assumed I was going to U-turn there anyway. Okay, so we are double poisoned, of course. So let's go ahead and just go Electro Ball here. Anything on her team doesn't want to take this. Except maybe a Cell Gore, but even then, it'll put it in range of the Volt Switch. So right now we have the advantage of 2 to 1. We got 2 kills, she has 1. We get the Electro Ball off, this should kill no matter what. And Slowbro goes down! Great job, Goddard. Putting in the work. Alright, so we are back down in health. Uh, terrain's gone, so we don't get no more HP back. I think it did it before though, so we, we're good. Okay, if she goes to Selgor here, we're going to Volt Switch. Well, really, we're going to Volt Switch no matter what she goes into, because we can knock out everything else with Volt Switch. And guys, honestly, uh, Jolteon was not my expected sweeper. Um, you know what? I'm going to protect to scout what she's going for. If she goes final gambit, I can switch to Rhyperior and live it. Okay, so she's Dynamaxing here. Very interesting. So she chooses to Dynamax this instead of Mimikyu. Okay, so she's, uh, okay. She's going for the win right now. So special attack raised. We should be faster with the quick feet. So we're going to volt switch here and sack off our T's. So let's just volt switch. We're faster. Let's go ahead and sack off T's. Does pretty good damage. We're getting into Excel Rock range. So let's go Tease here. And Tease should go down to the poison, I think. Oh no. There we go. So that's two turns of max ooze. And I have 60 seconds to do a quick calc. A cell gore. Spikes. Lichen rock. Dusk. Um, Dynamaxed. 57.1 to 67. That's not enough. So we're going to go ahead and go back to Goddard here. Yeah, it, I think it's well over 60. I think it's about 70%. So we're going to go ahead and volt switch again. No, let's go ahead and protect. Let's do that. Protect. We should be able to live a plus two max ooze. So it's going to be pretty set up here. So the question is, should I sack off Jolteon here? Because outside of Dynamax, we for sure kill it with the Cell Rock. 
I'm just gonna go for the Shadow Ball and sack off Goddard here. I don't want to get unnecessary damage on any other Pokemon. And um, Lycanroc basically sweeps up the rest of the team anyway. Yeah, Crunch does about 75% high roll. Okay, cool. So, obviously, Excel Rock is priority, so it goes first no matter what. I mean, it could have Sucker Punch, but I don't think uh, that'll do anything, really. So, let's go ahead and go for Excel Rock here. There's under two minutes left to play in this game, but she doesn't have the health to win. I have two full healed Pokemon, well three. <laughs> uh, Blastoise didn't really take much damage. So she might just be trying to lower my differential points. Which is, eh, you know, not cool, but it's part of the game. Okay, so yeah, Crunch automatically knocks uh, Mimikyu out. Oh wait, no, it's at 90%. <clears throat> so we're just going to switch out to Leonardo here to make sure we win. She doesn't knock us out. And we, we will win due to differential. Obviously, I wasn't trying to win by differential, but that uh, Tentacruel at the beginning really stalled us out and I wasn't sure how to get around it until it was, you know, a little late. But, um, there we go. Uh, GG Izzy, we win the 3-2. And that is our week 3 battle. We are officially 3-0 in the PML draft. Oof. Alright, guys. Also, I'd like to give a quick reminder, do not forget, we stream on Wednesdays and Saturdays. We'll not be able to stream this Saturday, so I will most likely be streaming sometime Sunday. Uh, I stream on Facebook, then upload here to YouTube. So, please show your support. Go follow, leave a like, subscribe here and on Facebook. If you don't mind, link is down in the description below. Also, go check out Izzy. She obviously prepped very well for us. I didn't know what to do against that tentacle. For the longest time which led us to timer for the first time this season so um she really uh she really got me on that one <laughs> i should have probably just volt switched there and uh did something but obviously dynamax and charizard was the play got us uh, pretty good kills got right on out of the way so joe town was free to help the team out with volt switch support and whatnot so yeah that's all I have to say for today, guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.